Today, the scariest things around Chernobyl go beyond the invisible threat of radiation. Nature has taken back the abandoned structures and created a post-apocalyptic scene. Mutated wildlife reminds of the enduring consequences of human error. Join us as we step into the heart of this eerie landscape and uncover the layers of the unsettling reality that lingers in the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster. 17. Melaninless Barn Swallows Following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, a fascinating occurrence in the local bird population caught researchers' attention. Barn swallows without melanin. These swallows, typically known for their dark feathers, have shown a surprising change in color believed to be linked to radiation's impact on melanin production. Melanin is the pigment responsible for the color in birds' feathers, skin, and eyes. It plays a vital role in protecting against harmful ultraviolet radiation. Yet, within the Chernobyl exclusion zone, scientists have noticed a peculiar trend among barn swallows. Their lighter plumage indicates a decrease in melanin levels. This shift in pigmentation is associated with elevated levels of ionizing radiation in the environment. Studies on these melanin-lacking barn swallows aim to uncover the mechanisms behind this adaptation. Radiation exposure is known to cause genetic mutations, and the lighter plumage suggests that alterations in the bird's DNA may be influencing melanin synthesis. This could be the result from genetic changes promoting the expression of lighter-colored pigments. These barn swallows act as living indicators. They reveal the intricate relationship between wildlife and the radioactive Chernobyl environment. This phenomenon prompts questions about the potential long-term evolutionary effects of radiation on species within the zone. Imagine that nuclear fallout causing a complete lack of melanin in the body. Scary. 16. Albino Animals in the eerie Chernobyl exclusion zone, there is a surge in albino animals across species, from deer and boars to catfish. This phenomenon, where individuals lack typical pigmentation due to albinism, is a direct outcome of the lasting impact of the catastrophic nuclear event. Albinism is a genetic condition marked by the absence of melanin. This is the pigment behind skin, fur, and scale coloration, and its absence is notably prevalent in Chernobyl's wildlife. The high occurrence of albino individuals in various species reflects the unique genetic challenges posed by the radiation-influenced environment. Isolation and reduced population sizes within the exclusion zone also play a crucial role in highlighting recessive genes linked to albinism. Deer, once part of lush Chernobyl forests, now feature ghostly white coats. This is a stark contrast to their usual earth-toned camouflage. Boars also experience genetic shifts, producing albino piglets whose lack of pigmentation stands out against the irradiated landscape's muted greens and browns. Even in the contaminated waters, catfish display albinism, with scales reflecting an otherworldly pallor. 15. Giant Catfish A community of enormous catfish is thriving in an environment shaped by the aftermath of a catastrophic nuclear incident. The combination of plenty of food and no fishing activity has led to a population of catfish defying expectations, with some individuals reaching an impressive length of over two meters. Initially built to regulate the temperature of the Chernobyl nuclear reactors, the cooling ponds have turned into unintended sanctuaries for underwater life. Without human interference and with a rich ecosystem, these ponds have become a safe space for catfish to grow to unprecedented sizes. The absence of human activity, driven by radiation concerns, means these massive catfish can thrive without the usual pressures from predators and fishing. The remarkable size of these catfish highlights the ability of life to endure challenges. With an abundance of prey like smaller fish and invertebrates, these catfish have taken full advantage of the plentiful resources in the ponds. The lack of fishing activity allows them to grow to sizes rarely seen in natural habitats, where human actions often restrict the growth of many species. As nature takes back the deserted areas of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, the giant catfish in the cooling ponds symbolize the unforeseen outcomes and surprising resilience of ecosystems following a human-induced disaster. The question is, if these fish are allowed to continue to breed unabated in this radiation-infused environment, just how big will they get? Scary thought, isn't it? 
14. Blackbirds with white beaks. Blackbirds with partially or entirely white beaks are showing up more frequently. These unusual deviations from the typical dark beak color associated with these birds have sparked speculation about their causes. Pigment changes and dietary influences are emerging as leading theories. Some individuals in the population display beaks adorned with patches or entirely coated in a pristine white color. While the exact reasons for this phenomenon are still under investigation, two main factors have been suggested to explain the atypical beak coloration. One possible explanation is pigment variations within the blackbird population. The impact of radiation on melanin production may lead to changes in beak pigmentation. Environmental stresses disrupting melanin synthesis could result in white patches or entirely pale beaks. Alternatively, dietary factors might contribute to the observed beak variations. The availability of specific nutrients or the influence of contaminants in the food supply within the Chernobyl exclusion zone could affect the coloration of blackbirds' beaks. Changes in diet might cause shifts in pigment expression, giving rise to the striking white adornments seen in some individuals. 13. Deformed Animal Babies this foal's skull seems to have expanded beyond its typical size. Its eyes are bulging out, and the upper jaw is shorter than the lower jaw. Some sources claim that this particular creature was also born after the Chernobyl accident. During that time, farmers observed an uptick in unusual traits among their animals. In 1989 and 1990, there was another surge in deformities, possibly linked to the radiation escaping from the protective structure around the nuclear core. Around 400 animals were born with severe abnormalities in 1990, and their lifespan was limited to just a few hours. These abnormalities ranged from facial irregularities to extra body parts, odd coloration, and smaller sizes. Cattle and pigs were the most affected by these genetic mutations among domestic animals. Additionally, cows exposed to fallout and fed with radioactive feed ended up producing milk with radioactive properties. Although the foal's appearance does seem to align with the deformities seen after the Chernobyl accident, other sources claim that this monstrosity is actually a horse-camel hybrid that was born in 2014 in Romania. Whatever its origin, the creature still looks scary. 12. Wolves with curly tails In the Chernobyl exclusion zone, some of its elusive inhabitants, the wolves, are suddenly developing mysteriously curly tails. Though not a mutation, this distinctive feature has piqued the interest of researchers and wildlife enthusiasts. While the exact explanation remains uncertain, it's thought to arise from a blend of genetic quirks and potential adjustments to the zone's tough environmental conditions. Unlike their usual straight-tailed counterparts, the Chernobyl wolves sport a unique curl that adds to their otherworldly charm. While the specific genetic roots of this oddity are still being explored, some theories suggest it could be linked to specific gene variations or a unique genetic trait within the exclusion zone population. Beyond genetics, the curly tails might also be a practical adaptation to the challenging habitat. The Chernobyl region faces harsh winters, with snow covering the landscapes for a significant part of the year. The curled tails might offer these wolves a practical advantage, providing better balance and agility in the snowy terrain. The curling could serve as a natural adaptation to navigate uneven, icy surfaces or maintain equilibrium during pursuits of prey in the challenging winter landscape. 11. Birds with extra toes While the aftermath of the nuclear disaster often sparks interest in wildlife mutations, cases of extra toes among certain bird species in the zone are likely due to radiation-induced mutations. Instead of the usual three forward-facing toes and one backward-facing toe seen in many birds, these individuals sport an extra digit, a toe nestled alongside the others. Birds, like all living beings, go through intricate processes of embryonic development. Occasional variations can happen during these stages. The appearance of an extra toe in birds could be a result of genetic factors or environmental influences during embryogenesis. Importantly, 
These anomalies seem to be isolated and sporadic, rather than indicating widespread genetic disruptions within the bird populations of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. In contrast to some mutations caused by exposure to ionizing radiation, the presence of an extra toe in these birds adds a touch of whimsy to the avian residents of the zone, providing a glimpse into the natural variability and resilience of wildlife in the face of the unexpected. 10. Rodents with unusual fur patterns Rodents with unique fur patterns are breaking the usual mold. The intricate designs and colors in these rodents likely stem from natural selection, radiation, and breeding in isolated populations, rather than solely the effects of radiation. From mice to voles, these little creatures boast a diverse array of fur patterns, each narrating a story of adaptation and resilience in the aftermath of a nuclear disaster. Instead of attributing these distinctive markings solely to radiation, they are believed to result from the intricate interplay between genetic diversity, radiation, and selective pressures within the isolated ecosystems of the exclusion zone. Natural selection, influenced by the survival benefits of certain fur patterns, is probably a key player in shaping the unique looks of these rodents. Camouflage, vital for avoiding predators or ambushing prey, likely drives the evolution of these intricate fur patterns. Rodents with markings blending seamlessly into their surroundings would have a better chance of surviving and passing on their genes to the next generation. Moreover, the isolation of populations within the Chernobyl exclusion zone may lead to distinct breeding dynamics. This could preserve specific fur patterns within localized groups. Over time, these patterns become distinctive signatures of the rodent communities dwelling in the post-nuclear landscape. 9. Radioactive Boars In the wilderness of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, a group of wild boars has become a symbol of the lasting impact of radiation. These sturdy mammals, once native to the area, now bear the brunt of increased radiation levels due to their foraging habits and the consumption of plants tainted by nuclear fallout. The wild boars of Chernobyl unintentionally signal the persistent radiation in the environment. Their habit of rooting in the soil and eating various plants exposes them to radioactive particles that settled in the landscape after the catastrophic nuclear incident in 1986. By grazing on contaminated vegetation, these boars accumulate radioactive isotopes, resulting in higher radiation levels compared to counterparts in less affected areas. Boars primarily absorb radiation through their consumption of roots, tubers, and fungi in the soil. These organisms act as conduits for radioactive particles, transferring contaminants to the boar's tissues as they feed. This not only contributes to the boar's elevated radiation levels, but also highlights the complex network of ecological interactions through which radiation moves through the food chain in the exclusion zone. The challenge of radioactive boars extends beyond their population. Since boars are a common prey for carnivores like wolves, the transfer of radiation through the food web is amplified. Predators feeding on contaminated boars may accumulate higher radiation levels, illustrating the interconnectedness of species in this unique ecosystem. Efforts to manage the population of radioactive boars aim to reduce potential risks to human health. Hunting and culling programs have been established in some cases to control their numbers and minimize the potential for radioactive contamination in game meat consumed by local communities. 8. Chernobyl Foxes A group of foxes has captured the attention of scientists. They shed light on the impressive adaptability of wildlife following the 1986 nuclear disaster. Studies on these clever creatures in the irradiated zone suggest they may have developed strategies to cope with the increased radiation levels in their surroundings. Foxes are known for their resourcefulness as opportunistic eaters. They face unique challenges in the Chernobyl exclusion zone where radiation levels exceed normal limits. Research reveals that these cunning canids have adjusted their foraging habits to tackle the specific challenges of the radioactive landscape. 
One notable change observed in Chernobyl foxes is a shift in their activity patterns. Some studies suggest these foxes have become more active at night, reducing their exposure to radiation during daylight hours. This adjustment aligns their behavior with periods of lower radiation intensity, potentially lowering the risk of health issues associated with prolonged exposure. Additionally, there are hints that Chernobyl foxes may show genetic changes. Specific genetic mutations related to antioxidant enzymes have been found in these populations. These mutations might provide enhanced resistance to the oxidative stress caused by radiation, offering a mechanism for the foxes to better handle their demanding environment. The intriguing adaptations seen in Chernobyl foxes provide valuable insights into the resilience of wildlife amidst environmental challenges. As these creatures navigate the post-nuclear landscape, they act as living indicators, showing how species can adjust their behaviors and biology to thrive after a catastrophic event. The story of the Chernobyl foxes offers a nuanced perspective on the coexistence of wildlife and radiation, challenging our assumptions about the limits of adaptability in the natural world. 7. Insects and arachnids. The tenacious community of insects and arachnids takes center stage in scientific exploration. They offer insights into the subtle yet profound effects of radiation on these small inhabitants. The varied collection of beetles, butterflies, spiders, and other tiny creatures within this post-nuclear landscape provides a unique perspective for researchers to examine how organisms adapt to environmental challenges. Studies on insects and arachnids in the Chernobyl exclusion zone reveal a tapestry of responses to increased radiation levels. A key focus is understanding how ionizing radiation affects the shape, behavior, and life cycle of these ecologically significant but small organisms. Genetic mutations in these invertebrates are a key area of interest. Radiation, known for its mutagenic properties, can induce changes in the DNA of exposed organisms. Researchers have observed morphological abnormalities and shifts in reproductive patterns among the insect and arachnid populations in the zone. This has offered great insights into the genetic consequences of prolonged exposure to radiation. Furthermore, the behavior of these invertebrates has been under scrutiny. Studies explore whether radiation influences their foraging, mating, and predatory habits. Observations suggest that some species may adjust their daily activities or modify reproductive strategies as adaptive responses to the challenges of the radioactive environment. 6. Amphibians with deformities in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, amphibians, particularly frogs, reveal the intricate dance between radiation and the fragile nuances of life. Studies within this region expose a troubling phenomenon, the presence of deformed amphibians. This offers poignant insights into the potential impacts of radiation exposure on these vulnerable creatures. Amphibians, with their sensitive skin and intricate life cycles involving both water and land phases, act as indicators of environmental health. Documented deformities in frogs range from limb malformations to abnormalities in facial structures. It raises questions about the potential connection between these anomalies and increased radiation levels in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Although establishing a direct link between observed deformities and radiation exposure is challenging, the prevailing hypothesis suggests ionizing radiation as a contributing factor. Radiation could interfere with normal tissue and organ development during embryonic stages, leading to genetic mutations, disruptions in cellular division, and damage to the delicate tissues of developing amphibians. The deformities in Chernobyl's amphibians are somber indicators of the lasting ecological consequences of the nuclear disaster. Acting as bioindicators, amphibians reflect the intricate interplay between environmental stresses and vulnerable species. Unraveling the mechanisms behind these deformities not only exposes the immediate impacts of radiation on the exclusion zone's ecosystems, but also provides insights into broader implications for amphibian populations globally. 5. Chernobyl Domesticated Animals 
abandoned dogs and cats, once companions to residents who fled the radiation-contaminated landscape, have transformed into feral survivors. They've adapted to navigate a new existence within the exclusion zone. Left to fend for themselves after the evacuation, these domesticated animals have undergone a remarkable metamorphosis as they adapted to the challenges of their altered environment. Despite the elevated radiation levels and the presence of abandoned structures, the exclusion zone has become an unexpected refuge for these animals. Feral dog populations, often forming loosely knit social groups reminiscent of wolf packs, roam the desolate landscapes. In this untamed territory, they scavenge for food, explore abandoned structures, and establish territories. They forge an existence in a world reshaped by nuclear catastrophe. Similarly, feral cats have discovered niches within the zone, using their hunting instincts to capture prey and navigate the crumbling remnants of human habitation. Through their adaptation to the conditions of the exclusion zone, they have not only survived, but also carved out a unique niche within this trans transformed ecosystem. Their stories are woven into the broader tale of Chernobyl's post-nuclear ecology. 4. Mutant Trees In the haunting aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the landscape reveals a silent dance between nature and the lingering spectre of radiation. Among the living guardians of this post-apocalyptic terrain, trees are steadfast witnesses. Their shapes narrate a story of adaptation and transformation in response to the enduring effects of ionizing radiation. Accounts from the Chernobyl area tell of trees displaying unconventional growth patterns. This has sparked speculation about the potential impact of radiation on their biology. While the precise mechanisms behind these unusual growths remain unclear, the distinctive conditions of the Chernobyl exclusion zone suggest an intricate interplay between the trees and the radioactive environment. One theory proposes that radiation might induce genetic mutations in the trees, leading to changes in growth patterns and shapes. These mutations, occurring at the molecular level, can influence cellular processes and may manifest as observable alterations in the outward appearance of the trees. Additionally, the influence of radiation on the soil and water in the region may contribute to shifts in nutrient availability and further influence the growth and development of trees. Another avenue of investigation considers the potential for hormetic effects. These are where low doses of radiation stimulate adaptive responses in trees. Some studies suggest that exposure to low levels of radiation could trigger mechanisms that enhance the tree's ability to cope with environmental stresses, potentially influencing their growth patterns. The mutant trees of Chernobyl, with their contorted forms and peculiar silhouettes, embody the unspoken conversation between living organisms and the legacy of nuclear catastrophe. As ongoing research seeks to unravel the complexities of this interaction, the mutant trees are mysterious symbols of the profound and lasting impact that human activities can have on the natural world, offering both a cautionary tale and a testament to the enduring resilience of life. 3. Chernobyl Rats In the quiet and eerie landscapes of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, a hardy population of rodents, including mice and rats, has quietly adjusted to the surreal aftermath of the catastrophic nuclear disaster. These small yet resilient creatures, usually associated with human habitats, have found a place for themselves in the deserted remnants of the exclusion zone, navigating the transformed environment with unexpected survival skills. The rats and mice of Chernobyl display unique behaviors and adaptations that distinguish them from their city-dwelling counterparts. Their remarkable resilience is evident in their ability to find food and thrive in an environment largely devoid of human presence. In the absence of traditional human settlements and farming, these rodents have adapted to scavenge and make use of the resources available in the wild, showcasing flexibility in their feeding habits. The abandoned structures within the exclusion zone, once teeming with human life, now serve as impromptu homes for these rodents. From crumbling buildings to overgrown foliage, the rodents have discovered shelter and nesting spots amid the remnants of human civilization. This adaptation to repurposed environments highlights their knack for exploiting new niches created in the aftermath of the disaster. 
While the presence of rodents in the Chernobyl exclusion zone may be expected, their distinctive adaptations to the environment emphasize the intricate ways in which wildlife reacts to significant ecological shifts. The tale of Chernobyl's rats and mice maneuvering through a landscape forever changed by radiation is proof of life's adaptive resilience. It underscores the ability of even the smallest creatures to carve out an existence in the face of exceptional challenges. 2. Chernobyl Bees The buzzing activity of bees and other pollinators emerges as a crucial yet mysterious element in the post-nuclear landscape. These hard-working insects, vital for plant pollination and biodiversity, come under scientific scrutiny as researchers explore the potential impact of radiation on their colonies and behavior. Studies on Chernobyl bees delve into the complex dynamics of these essential pollinators in an environment marked by ionizing radiation. The research aims to uncover the effects of radiation exposure on the physiological and behavioral aspects of bee colonies, addressing concerns about the possible consequences for both the bees and the wider ecosystem. A key focus is on the foraging behavior of bees in the contaminated landscape. As bees collect nectar and pollen from plants, they may unintentionally gather radioactive particles. Understanding how radiation influences their foraging habits, navigation skills, and overall colony health offers vital insights into potential ecological implications. 1. Chernobyl Psowalski's Aurochs Endeavors are underway to revive another majestic species at Chernobyl, the Aurochs. This ambitious project represents a unique chapter in the unfolding story of restoring the ecological balance within the confines of the exclusion zone. The Aurochs are wild cattle that once freely roamed Europe. The species went extinct in the 17th century. However, inspired by the idea of rewilding and restoring ecosystems to their natural states, conservationists are on a mission to resurrect this iconic species. The Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, known for its deserted human settlements and overgrown landscapes, provides an unexpected canvas for these ecological experiments. Introduced to the Exclusion Zone, these aurochs become pioneers in reclaiming a landscape deeply scarred by human activities. The open grasslands and diverse habitats within the zone offer a potential haven for the aurochs to graze and thrive. Their reintroduction aims not only to bring back a species from history, but also to contribute to broader goals of ecosystem restoration. By reintroducing aurochs to the Chernobyl exclusion zone, conservationists aim to mimic natural ecological processes, fostering biodiversity and re-establishing trophic interactions disrupted for decades. The aurochs, as herbivores shaping their environment through grazing, play a vital role in the delicate dance of ecological balance. Which of these anomalies scares you the most? And do you think they're telling us the whole story? Let us know in the comments. For now though, we're out of here. Catch you in the next video.